to the camera. Let's see if this will affect. Yeah, it's already affected. Hello guys, welcome to another video from Secure System Center, a channel that brings you valuable information about video surveillance access control and intrusion. Today our topic will be the Wi-Fi cameras again. In our last video that you see here, we will discuss about the six reasons to, to stop using Wi-Fi cameras. And I showed a lot of reasons and especially the security one. The security part that, that I shown uh, how easy it is to disable a Wi-Fi camera using the deauthentication method that basically deauthenticate all devices in the Wi-Fi network. I received some messages about this and you know people saying that I was too close to the, to the router, too close to the camera, I was actually between the camera and the router, that's why I was able to do this attack and not actually believing how easy it is to, to disable um, a Wi-Fi camera. So in this video I will show in a real life scenario in my own house how easy it is to disable an Wi-Fi camera. And this time I will use two devices. The first one that you already know, the Deauthenticator uh, device that we saw in the other video. But in this video today, I will show you a new one. And, and this one is the Wi-Fi Jammer. I bought it specifically for this test. So it, this is the device. It disables the three Wi-Fi frequencies. So 2.4 and the 5.8 and 5.2 gigahertz. So the indoor and outdoor uh, Wi-Fi networks will be done and this one uh, it will disable all Wi-Fi networks in about 6 meter uh, range okay so it will be enough to simulate a real life scenario I'll be at my car at my front door simulating as a, a robber uh, stopping by at the front of my house and I will disable the camera and again I'm not against Wi-Fi cameras I actually have in my own house and again as i said in another video and this is because i live in a condominium that we already have security systems in the perimeter so this is only a comfort uh, usage uh, it's just to see if we have someone at my front door uh, it's okay if i disable actually this camera right now the purpose of this video is to you that are using or are planning to use these cameras on a real life scenario on your home or in your small business, a public street or in a high crime area. And it will be exposed for these issues that I will show in this video. All right, so let's get started. Yes. Again, jamming or hacking cameras and networks without permission is illegal. So if you don't own the network or the camera, don't do this. It's illegal and you are responsible for any consequences. I am bringing here this information for educational purpose and to you to understand the risk you have with this type of devices. Just explain my topology. So we have here my camera here, my Wi-Fi camera here. And inside here, my living room is the, the router. Okay, so I'm attacking here in the, in the car outside. So the camera is basically in the middle between the car and the, the router. Okay, so let's start our first attack. Uh, will be with our deauthenticator device. So let's connect here in the power source. And then let's connect to its web interface. I already connected here in my mobile phone to the deauthenticator device Wi-Fi. I open here my camera stream so it's online it's showing here live and I will start the attack okay okay so I will start here the attack you guys can see here that it's, it's live right I open here my door and I will close Okay, so here in the in the deauthenticator device, I will start to deauthenticate. So here is the camera stream. 
if they're ready show the zero here it's not possible to get the the live transmission try again it will try to, to load again so you guys already see that i'm able to be here at my front door without the camera knowing that i'm here right now i can simply go inside or go to the front door and start and start the break in okay and it will be like this you know it, it's not loading anymore because the attack is is active here it's going on here the attack um, I will stop the attack let me open here the camera again it's still offline and you guys will see that I will disable here I'll stop the attack I stop the attack then I will probably take a few seconds and the camera will resume the connection yeah so we are live here again what's happened here so we were able to attack the Wi-Fi router not the camera and we had, we created this deauthentication package that was flooding the router and it was dropping all the, the devices in the network so this means that once I start attack the router, the camera uh, lost the connection with the server, with the cloud, and it was unable to send clips to the cloud. So let's assume that I am not doing this in front of my house. I can do a few meters uh, before entering in the camera scene. So I can disable this camera before entering the scene. And I can go here without any rush and take this camera off remove the SD card and this camera will not be able to uh, record anything during this attack okay so this is one attack let's see the other attack now I'm here at the front of my 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 front door let's check the distance that we have here okay we have 6.4 meters so not sure if it will work but we will test We'll see if this um, if this jammer will be able to affect this camera here. Okay, so let's talk about this little guy now. So this is really uh, a jammer, a, a Wi-Fi jammer. It actually it's a brute force attack. It will disable all networks. It's not targeted to one specific network. Uh, the the good part, or I you know the good part of the of the the authentication device is that you can. It's a very specific and refined attack that you can do in the in the um, in the house or in the network that you're trying to uh, to uh, to break in, and it will not get too much ma too many attention, you know, to you because it will be specifically for uh, one network or at actually you can do for at one device if you select it in in the device list, right? But this one is a brute force attack. This one it will disable all the Wi-Fi networks around around this thing. Okay, so this is actually the power source for this jammer. It's about two amps, and um, so I have here this um, because I don't have a, a, an adapter with two amps for cars, so I'm, I'm using this one here. I will connect to the jammer now. Okay, so I will connect here the power source in this Wi-Fi jammer so before I turn on this jammer I need to be clear I'm not using my Wi-Fi of course right uh, I'm using my 4G connection so anything that happens here in the house is not affecting my phone right now uh, so I, I could be in, in any other location so it's not affecting here my my connection to the cloud right it's only affecting the camera connection to the cloud so as you guys can see here it's live again i will close here the door okay we're seeing a expected delay so i will turn this on right now see here okay green light pointing to the camera let's see if this will affect yeah it's already affected so position here 
Uh, you guys, you see that the camera is already offline. It will be unable to, to connect it. And actually, if I go here to the Wi-Fi list, it will be yeah, right now it's not showing any Wi-Fi networks actually. It's disabling, it's actually jamming the, the Wi-Fi frequencies here right now. So I will turn this off. Refresh here. Okay, it takes a while. Oh yeah, so you guys can see all the Wi-Fi networks again. So, and then probably I will be able to connect to the camera let's see yeah so it's live again let's open here the door yeah so it's open so this is more like a brute force attack it will work more efficiently if uh, if the burglar don't have time to uh, connect to the device scan for the Wi-Fi network seeing what will be the Wi-Fi network for this house and and uh, start the attack you know uh, this will be more effective they can use uh, with this power or uh, with this power adapter or they can in, um, plug in a power bank and put on the, on their pocket you know you can put in your pocket and you'll be able to disable all the wi-fi networks in the in the area that you are walking so it's scary how easy this you know this attack is do not try this is the purpose of this video is only to show you how unsecured these cameras are and no matter what they tell you uh, this is not a problem in the camera actually this is uh, an issue in the Wi-Fi network it's not in the camera side so it doesn't matter the, the, the camera manufacturer the technology uh, I, I saw some news about a manufacturer trying to uh, create a, a a no jammer or an anti jammer um, uh, connectivity between the, the Wi Fi camera and the router. But if this will attack the frequencies, you know, 2.4, 5.2, and 5.8 gigahertz, it will be impossible. You know, it, it's, it's creating a noise in the, in the network and you will be unable to transmit any data when this is on. So, probably they will create a, a, another device that will use different frequencies you know random frequencies that will be able to uh, switch to another frequency if they detect a jam uh, can be an option but all the cameras today in the market uses the standard Wi-Fi connectivity and uh, this will disable so uh, my point is if you are a homeowner and if you really depend on your video system for your security don't use a wi-fi camera use a standard cctv system you know a cable if it's possible an ip system you know for any vr that is recording locally and with uh with cloud support the cap if, if it's possible you know so if you're an installer and you have a customer uh pushing a wi-fi solution because i know it's easier it's it's simpler and it's you know it's better to install a Wi-Fi camera. You just need a power source, right? And and, and I agree, I understand, but uh, we need to balance, you know, how easy it is uh, with you know the other issues. If you're an installer, if the customer is pushing you for a Wi-Fi solution, with you know saying that you know it's easier, it will be like a, a you know a better installation. Well. You know install it it will only require a power source that they already have in that spot and they don't want like a wired connection or anything please share with them this video to explain really the, the issue the security issue they are facing okay so if it's only a comfort installation that's fine use wi-fi camera you know because it will be much easier to install uh, to connect all the cameras to the wi-fi and that's it you'll be able to see all the cameras get notification but if you really depend, so if you are, uh, if your home or if your business is installed in a public area that is, you know, high crime area, or if you really depend on the video surveillance to have your safety, you know, uh, discard Wi-Fi cameras, please. Okay, these little guys are very cheap and very easy to buy. So think twice when you're using Wi-Fi devices.
So I hope you guys enjoyed and I see you in the next video.